Yo, this is Alan Fenstermaker here with Pro Wrestling Archives. I'm here with Lance Inouye. How are you doing, Lance? I'm doing wonderful. Tired after this Super 8, man. Awesome, man. How does it feel to be the, uh, the winner? Oh, it feels awesome. Like I said before, man, I've been doing this 10 years, and I always heard about the Super 8 tournament. That's always been a dream of mine. And to come here and be in my first one and also win it, it feels awesome. Uh, when and how did you guys get rooted in this area in Pennsylvania? Uh, that's a good question. See, back in the day, you know, growing up, my father, obviously WWE Hall of Fame, talking about someone who was with the WWE and WWF at the time. And WWF used to have their, you know, they used to just run in their teeth, you know, Madison Square Garden, Philadelphia, Allentown, and they did all the TV tables at Allentown. So, I was originally born in, in Connecticut, you know, by the office, and they started doing TV tables down here in Allentown, and that's when we recruited and uh, came down to Allentown. Instead of shopping, we never left. Wow, that's yeah, do you have any inspirations growing up to become a pro wrestler? Uh, yes, just following my family, man. I, I grew up traveling with my dad. My dad used to roll me around on his suitcase when he traveled to Raw, SmackDown, Raw, or not even SmackDown because there was no SmackDown, but just all the pay-per-views, he would just bring me on, the, on his uh, suitcase. And ever since then, I, just, I knew it was something I wanted to do, but I honestly never wanted to do it. I always was a baseball player. Okay. But... After high school, I, I got the itch, and then I just wanted to do it, and then ever since then, I've been grinding and just doing what I can to make my family proud. Too many, that's why I got Google. That's too many, we can lift the names all day. Yeah. Yeah. We come from a big family, you know, people like The Rock, Roman Reigns, The Usos, Makisha, The Head Shakers, The Wild Simons, myself, uh, Umaga, Rosie, I mean, we can go yeah, all day. Yeah. We can go all day. Like every generation has uh, more Samoa. Exactly, exactly. Some of my favorite matches, I have to take it back to when I was SCW champion. Uh, as before NXT, WWE developmental, I was Florida Championship Wrestling, I was the heavyweight champion. And uh, I wrestled Tyson Kidd, at the time his name was TJ Wilson, from the Hart Family Dynasty. And we had a ladder match, and it was the first ever sellout in Florida Championship Wrestling history in WWE developmental. So that was something special for me. And that match actually won match of the year over Kurt Angle, Samoa Joe, and TNA. We uh, won match of the year over a lot of good matches that happened in the state of Florida that year. So that's number one on the list. I got you know, good team matches like against Keith Dunn and CM Punk and those kind of guys. And uh, I just had a lot of good international matches too. So, you know, I wrestle primarily overseas now, so I don't do much American dates. It's pretty much all in South Africa and Europe. South America, stuff like that. So, uh, I try to stay pretty busy. Man, now you said you played baseball before too. Now, like, is there any kind of training that you do uh, similar? Any how how would you compare uh, baseball to, to pro wrestling? Your training. Oh uh, man, training is completely different. Uh, uh, f to train to be a wrestler, man, you gotta expect to get hit by a car every single time you you hit that mat. Because they say every your first time taking a bump is feels like you're getting hit by a car that's going 35 miles an hour and your body's just not made for it. Baseball is a whole different story just conditioning wise. So. Okay. Now like uh, what was your favorite era or time period in pro wrestling history? Um, it has to be the Attitude Era just because how much different things were. It was more, it, it, was the, it was entertaining but it was also aggressive like they there was always these savages. There's all these different characters. It wasn't a, a spot fest. It was just everyone had their own persona. Third generation. My father is Head Shrinker Samu, and my grandfather is Afa, the Wild Samoan. Uh, my cousins are the Usos, Roman Reigns. Uh, the Rock is my second cousin. Uh, Umaga, Yokozuna, it's just my whole family. Like, And there's even younger guys. There's my cousin who's still an independent, who's killing it, Jacob Fatu, which is Tonga Kid's son, and then Sefa. He's uh, Rikishi and the Uso's younger brother. So we're just going, grinding, and keeping the family lineage going. Okay. Uh, South America, stuff like that. I try to stay pretty busy. Uh, it's pretty amazing stuff. Uh, I was always a Fox 2 guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fox 2, you holding down in there. You hold it down. Yeah. Um, is, there, is there more people that are still active? Absolutely. Yeah. We got plenty of cousins and nephews that are still coming up. You know, they can introduce. Cause like, I started when I was 13 back in 1998. And, you know, 19 years later, I'm still doing it. And now we have a whole second, you know, another batch of, of some more wrestlers, like, like my, uh, my cousin, nephew, Jacob Fatu. Uh, we got Lance 
Lance on Hawaii coming up. We got Sean Maluda who was listening to our five lives from NXT. That's my new tag team partner, so me and Maluda. Shout out to Deuces. <laughs> We're about to take things to that next level. You know, so you know, you'll never find wrestling in a big peak without a Samoan man. Yeah. Whatever wrestling's making money, there's always a Samoan on top. Let's just say that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one last question. Um, kind of a deep question. But, uh, what is your family's relationship with Vince McMahon? It seems like it's always been very positive. Vince, he's taking care of our family. In the same way we've taken care of his. You know what I mean? Um, Vince has put a lot of money in our pockets and we put a lot of money in his. So it's kind of that professional uh, respect. Yes, you know, respect so we have a good working relationship with the McMahons. And uh, I think that's something that we have been very hard to tarnish. You know, so our roots are, are deep with the community and yeah, we'll go other places and whatnot. But our home will always be the better. Thank you so much for this interview. Now, what are some of the highlights of your career? Um, one of my favorite highlights was, um, I forget what year, but it was in March. It might have been 2016. I brought my grandfather out of retirement, and it was me, my father, my grandfather, and my uncles, Manu and L.A. Smooth. We did a 10-man tag, so that was a privilege. Three generations in one ring. So that was always one of my biggest accomplishments in professional wrestling outside of that. Uh, being able to tag with my father up and down the East Coast, uh, especially with the head shrinkers and and being on WWE a few times. And I also have a WWE tryout coming up for the third time. So hopefully it goes, they say third time's a charm. So let's find out. Yeah, what was it like in the uh, WWE when you had your experience there? Uh, man, WWE is, being there, it's like home. Every time I go on the road with them just doing extra work or tryout, it feels like that's where I'm supposed to be. So I'm not going to stop trying. If I don't make it, I don't make it. But I'm still going to grind and perform in front of everyone all up and down the East Coast, West Coast, all over the world uh, because it's something I love to do. But the, uh, WWE, man, that's just one place I would love to be. Awesome, man. Now uh, thanks again for doing this interview, and good luck to you, man. Thank you.